In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the weekday function in Google Sheets. I'm going to do three different things this, with this function. Firstly, I'll just show you how to use the function by itself. Um, secondly, I will show you how to use it in combination with the choose function to actually display um, the day of the week. And then lastly, I'll show you how to combine them both with the today function to display the current day of the week. So the weekday function, what this does is it returns a number um, that represents the day of the week when you put a date into the function. So this is the basic syntax. The first argument is date. So this can be an actual date input into the formula. It can be a cell containing a date or a function that returns a date. The second argument is type. This is optional. If you don't set it, it's automatically going to be set to one. Um, what this does is it tells Google Sheets how exactly to count the days of the week. So one, the default setting, starts counting days from Sunday, where Sunday is one. So that would make Saturday seven. Two, starts counting from Monday, where Monday is one. So that would make Sunday seven. And then three starts again from Monday, but Monday is zero. So Sunday is six. So let me just show you how it works with this data I have here. So I'm going to use a few different types just so you can see the differences of how they all work. So it's a pretty basic function. Um, the main argument is just the date in there. Okay, so you can see these first four, I have the same date. Um, now the first two functions both return five, and that is because, again, by default, it's set to one. So these are the uh, same exact formula in the eyes of Google Sheets. You just don't really have to specify the type if you're only going to use the first type. Um, but you can see the date is the same, but then as I use two and three, the result changes um, because it's counting the days differently. So you can see um, this is pretty basic to use. Um, the downside of this, again, is that it only returns a number representing the day. If you actually want to know what day five is or what day um, of the week this date is, you have to combine it with a different function, which is the choose function. Um, the choose function has basically two arguments. Um, it has the index number and then the list of options. So what it does is, um, if you look at this formula here, um, my first, the index is a one, and this is my list. So what it's going to do is it's going to return the first item that item at index one in my list. So you can see at one, um, it returns Sunday. At two, it's gonna return Monday, because one, two, and then at three, it will return Tuesday. One, two, three. So you can have um, the choices input in the function itself, or you can have the choices a cell reference with this function, but Basically, this is how we're going to combine it with the weekday function to get the day of the week. And then I'll show you what that looks like over here. So here are my dates. So instead of specifying a um, index number for the first argument of the choose function, what I'm doing is I'm doing the weekday function. Because remember, the weekday function returns a number and then the number is what is going to indicate which from this list is returned. So that is why combining these functions works together to actually display uh, the name of the day of the week is because weekday just returns the number which then is going to return what is at that index in my list. Um, so hopefully that makes sense and then here's just an example of a few different dates uh, where the function is working. Now, if you want to just display um, the current date and the actual name of the day of the week inside this weekday function, you can also put the today function. 
Um, so I'll show you what that looks like here. So today is Friday, um, and you can see inside the weekday function, I have nested the today function, which is inside the choose function. So today is just going to input today's date. Weekday is going to return the number of the day, and then the choose function is going to take that number and return um, what is at that number in my list. So that is why that works for displaying the current date. And that is pretty much it. Um, that's all I'm going to cover with the weekday function. Um, I will place a link to the blog description if you want to read through um, the full post. I'll place it in uh, the description of this video. And just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.